With the YJ Wrangler ever increasing in demand, we want to take some time to talk about a transmission upgrade. In this video, we are swapping the French-made Peugeot transmission and installing the much stronger AX15. Follow along as we show you why we're going to do this and what it takes to make it happen. Taking out the lovely E12 bolt on top of the bell housing. Maybe. One came out alright, the other one I think had been previously ruined by someone else. Which is fun. Drain and fill plugs on this Peugeot Trans are a 516 female bit. Kind of like a 3 8 drive or quarter, but instead it's 516. If you don't have a tool, you can take an expendable 8 millimeter Allen, grind down two sides, and that fits in there all right. <laughs> what do we got here? What do we got? Some cream, some jelly. That looks custard. like a regular custard there. Mm -hmm. Well, my cream was in the back. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm going with this guy. Are you going with Allen? Safe unit here. <laughs> sure, I'll go with this one. Can we roll one? Yeah. Go with what you know. I don't know what it is, but I think it's the color scheme of this particular era Sahara that really captures this sub-Saharan feel that designers were going for in the late 80s and early 90s. And because of that, this thing has been pretty popular. We see a lot of people like this color scheme and want to restore them. On the floor here, this is the Peugeot. And the easiest way to identify as to whether or not your Jeep has a Peugeot transmission is the way the case goes together. I always think about it like clapping my hands together. It goes together just like that. So if you see a seam here at the top and the bottom, you'll know that you've got the weak, underperforming French made Peugeot. One very, very common swap is to upgrade and install the AX15. Now the YG Wrangler came out in 1987 and from 87 to 89, had this pile of garbage in the Jeep connected to the shifter. In right around 90, in late 89, uh, the AX15 came and stayed in the Wrangler until 1999. It's a great transmission and it's still available today in a brand new configuration. So what we did for this in entire kit is we ordered it all from Advanced Adapters. It comes with a brand new transmission, the bell housing, and uh, some parts to convert the transfer case input spline uh, to the 23 spline output, which the transmission has on this instead of the 21. As you can see, this is the smaller 21 output here, 21 spline on the back of the Peugeot versus the 23 spline output on the back of the AX15.
Right now we've got the transfer case all apart. We've got the new bell housing here. And uh, after lunch, David is gonna be working on swapping the input spline of that transfer case. All in all, this is gonna be a pretty awesome upgrade for this owner, especially if you've got the French made Peugeot. Think about doing a swap like this because all of the parts to make the swap happen are readily available and uh, with some experience, it's a pretty good swap to do. Gotta swap the, the shifter onto their bracket. They give you the top shift plate. They don't seem to tell you too much else. Yay, I love puzzles. So it turns out I get to take the transfer case back down. The bottom right hand hole on the transfer case has a plastic allen plug set screw in it turns out the peugeot trans only uses five of the six transfer case studs and the ax15 uses six so taking it back down to get that plug out of there Reverse light switch on the AX15 uses a weather pack connector, QR connector, where the Peugeot transmission just kind of has a one of those two pin connectors, just kind of like look like threads sticking out of the transmission. So I'm putting a weather pack connector on the harness for the Jeep, so it can just plug in, be nice, look OEM, and make it easy for any future service. Yes. He has a used slave and master cylinder from a 95 YJ. I'll just, I'm gonna go get it. Yeah, I mean, I'll just use this stuff. Versus getting a used thing. I think that's what I mean. Maybe. Okay. I mean, I'll at least try it before you go out and get it. Uh, it if it doesn't I, work, it's like then a sure. half mile down the road, but it's not that far. I'm just gonna go get it and, like, okay. if we use it, cool. If we don't, we don't. doing something but it's not nearly enough. It takes about three inches of squish on the pedal before you really get any resistance. If it doesn't work, we can it's send it back. No, no, because that doesn't fit. 
Can I drill a hole? Put it in anyways. We've got the AX15 swap project all done. It's been final test driven. And all in all, the thing turned out really, really awesome. Like I said before, if you've got an older YJ with this terrible French made Peugeot transmission, get it out of there and get an AX15. All in all, I was really impressed by all the parts. One substitution that we had to make was with the master slave and uh, master and slave assembly. This is what came from advanced adapters and after a lot of time fighting with trying to bleed this assembly we made the decision to use a factory 93 to 95 master and slave assembly uh, we found that in a local yard but i think you can still buy them new you have to hunt around a little bit if so the cool thing about that is it is already pre-bled as an assembly and so we just bolted it in and it worked very very well one thing that we talked about afterward, while the transfer case was all back together, if you've got a lifted Jeep, that is the time to do a slip yoke eliminator kit or an SYE and a double card and rear drive shaft. If the whole transfer case is apart and your Jeep's lifted, that's a good, good time to do that. All in all, like I said several times now, this is a great upgrade. It gets rid of, rid of this weak, small, vulnerable transmission and it puts in a brand new AX15, which is an excellent upgrade for your square headlight Jeep. If you've got any questions about this, be sure to hit us up in the comments section on YouTube. Also, follow us everywhere socially, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. We create a bunch of awesome content just like this in the shop every single day. Thanks for watching.